Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here with Nicole, the gut girl. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thanks for having me. All right, we're going to talk about lectins. Um, lectins, uh, well, why don't you tell us what lectins are? So it's a plant's mechanism in order, kind of its defense mechanism to not be eaten. So it's a protein that binds with a carbohydrate to make your digestional tract act up. It does make it, um, you know, you get a ton of bloat, you get, you can get acid reflux, all of those kind of things when you've just eaten a regular vegetable. So I have a lot of people who come in and they're like, oh no, I can't eat nightshades. I can't, um, it gives me heartburn. I can't eat tomatoes. It gives me heartburn. Well, it's not the tomato, it's the lectin in it. And I'm not a huge fan of lectins because um, actually what it more so is you get it in whole grains because it also um, beans, legumes, soy, peanuts. I have a ton of people who come to me and they love eating peanuts, but they immediately get bloated. And that's because they're full of lectins, beans. They're full of lectins. They actually don't want to be eaten. <laughs> How do we avoid lectins? I mean, can we eat some of those foods and not get the lectins? So, no, but you can do things in order to reduce the lectin amount you get. You can, um, what I do with my meats, meats, nuts and seeds is I soak them. Um, I soak them so that I can take that piece of it out when I do any kind of a bean, like um, a bean stew, or I do some chilies that have some beans in it. I soak my beans beforehand so it pulls the lectin out. It makes it almost inactive. And that's a big deal in order to have, so when you have, and not to bring this subject up, but it's a perfect example. When you have a vegetarian or a vegan, eating a ton of beans and that kind of stuff, and they're very bloated and they don't feel good, they need to try um, soaking those beans and legumes so that they don't get that, so that they pull lectin out. The other thing that gets a really bad rap is that I am, and you know how passionate I am about this, is a lot of dairy and eggs get it, have lectins in them because the cows and the chickens are fed the grains that have the ones in it. So that's why I'm very particular that I eat grass fed, grass finished. As you know, we have chickens just like your wife. They are fed better than, than most people are. <laughs> me. They're, yes. <laughs> our chickens are fed, fed better than me. My wife's in there cooking all the time. Yeah. I'm, is that for me? No, those are fed yeah. chickens. <laughs> So, um, talking about being vegan or vegetarian, it's hard to do. I, d I don't bat vegans. No. I say it all the time. I've done vegan, but I know how to do it. Um, but it's hard. It's hard to do it and be healthy. You got to really know what you're doing. So, what vegetables and those types of plant-based products can people eat without getting lectins? So, uh, well, avocado is a fruit, but we often think of it as a vegetable, but I eat a ton of avocados and they don't have lectins. Broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, spinach, um, romaine, olive oil, all of those things are not based in a lectin type situation. So I eat a ton of broccoli and cauliflower, so I don't have that problem. Yeah. And, you know, we've talked about vegan before. And the problem with vegan is there's not enough rules. You know, <laughs> carnivore is easy. Carnivore is easy. Eat meat. Now, there's some few, there's a few minor rules you need to put in there. Like don't eat deep fried chicken wings. Yes. If you're a carnivore, that's not going to be healthy. You want to get grass fed, grass finished and so on and help eat healthy products. Um, but that, that, that really helps you naming some of the foods that vegetarians can eat. And people like me who also eats vegetables, ones that I can eat also. And the other thing, too, that I would add to this is if you have 
a ton of arthritis or joint issues, you might want to take up, take a look at how many lectins you're having, the food nutrients that you're getting from, if you're doing a ton of whole grains, nightshades, that kind of stuff, um, tomatoes, potatoes, those kind of things, um, you actually are just adding to the problem of a joint issue and arthritis. That may be flaring a lot when you eat those type of foods. All right. Well, um, if you guys want to get a hold of Nicole, Nicole um, actually works with my wife. Um, I will leave. We'll leave the email. What's the email? It's Nicole? the gut girl one at gmail.com. And you'll give them what? hundred dollars off. Mention that they, you saw this interview with her and you'll give them a hundred dollars off. Is that right? Absolutely, their first consultation. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. So we will put that in the description. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thanks for having me.